guys, I am back today with my What I Got For Christmas video, the 2016 edition. Normally I do a big long disclaimer about how I'm not making this video to brag, I'm just making it to share what I got and because I love watching other people's What I Got For Christmas videos. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into it and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so normally I go through my whole stocking and show you pretty much everything, but I'm not going to do that this year. Um, as usual, I got lots of chocolate and sweets, and my boyfriend also got me lots of chocolate, but those are downstairs, so I'm not going to show you those. It's pretty self-explanatory. I got like selection boxes and Lindor chocolates and all that sort I am going to show you a few of my favourite things that I got in my stocking though, and I have them next to me in this bag that I was given last year. Um, I'm using it this year to um, keep my stocking things in to show you. So in my stocking I got this cute little money box that says it's time to sparkle and I think my mum got me this because I always put all of my change into a money box. I don't spend it. This year of course my presents had a huge dog theme um, so I got this little Christmas mug with two Yorkies on in Christmas jumpers which was super cute. A little bunny clothes hook, this little zip purse that says I work hard so my dog can have a better life, <laughs> this coaster which says all guests must be approved by the dog which is so true. If you're coming to my house and you don't like dogs then you may as well not come to the house. A Yorkie pen and a Yorkie car air freshener. I can't wait to put this in my car. Of course I got socks. I got these little, uh, they're called footlets and they're like those little socks that you can wear with um, dolly shoes but I normally just wear them around the house. And then I got some Harry Potter socks that say muggle on them. <laughs> Sausage dog hand warmers which I think are so funny. I'm definitely gonna use these on dog walk. And then I got this little bunny candle which is so cute. I'm gonna put that up in my craft room which is where I'm filming at the moment. And I got a dog selfie set which has a dog shaming whiteboard and you know that's going to get used all the time. <laughs> so yes, that was my stocking and all my favourite bits and pieces from my stocking. Now I'll show you what my boyfriend got. So my boyfriend mainly got me books this year which I was excited about because I haven't really been buying myself any books recently uh, but I did get some other things as well. So I have this camellia box here. Um, he got me a charm for my Pandora bracelet which I've already put on my bracelet. If I can remember to I will insert a picture here but it's the gingerbread charm. Last year I bought myself the gingerbread house so this year I wanted the gingerbread man um, and it's super cute so I've already put that on my bracelet. I got some Chloe perfume which I it's pretty much the only perfume I wear and I always get it for my birthday or Christmas from various family members but this year my boyfriend bought some for me and I've just run out of both of my Chloe perfumes. I had two different ones so I'm very happy that I have this one. Next I got something that I picked out myself and it's an Emma Bridgewater mug. Again I haven't been able to buy myself any Bridge Emma Bridgewater for a good few months now because of money. <laughs> so I was super excited to get this and I also got some Emma Bridgewater from my parents and from my nan, so I'll show you those in a bit. But this one is one of the limited edition Christmas designs and it's the Little Holly and it says, let it snow on it. So it's kind of um, sort of past its use now, although I'm sure I still will carry on using it. But um, next year I'll have an extra little Christmas mug to you. Lastly, um, he got me some books. So I got Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, which is the final book in the uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilo trilogy. Sorry, So I won't read the blurb to you because it will give away the other books. But um, I love the feel of these in paperback. It's such nice books. Um, and Hollow City is on my end of year TBR, so I want to read Hollow City and then I'll read this one. Next he got me one that I picked out myself when we were food shopping one day, and it's called Small Great Things by Jodie Picoult, or Picoult, I can't remember how you say her name, but it sounds really interesting. It's about um, a newborn passing away in hospital after a routine procedure, and it's about whether the nurse was responsible for it, whether the parents were responsible for it, um, and it's basically sort of the mystery of how this child 
um, ended up passing away and it definitely sounds like my sort of thing. Next, I'm sorry if there's a glare because it's still got the plastic on it, but I got this beautiful edition of the Jungle Book. I already have uh, Peter Pan in these editions and when I saw this one in Costco, I was so excited, I didn't know they were doing any more. Um, so my boyfriend picked it up to give to me for Christmas. It's got lots of um, interactive elements in it, I don't know if you can see that, but there's things that you can take in and out, there's bits that pop up, um, and it's just really beautiful. So I think I want to read The Jungle Book again, um, now that I've got this. Finally, he got me like one of the most beautiful books I've ever owned, and it is the first uh, Game of Thrones book, so it's just Game of Thrones. Um, but it's an illustrated edition and I mean as if this cover isn't pretty enough like look at these illustrations so it's got like full page illustrations I'm just seeing in my camera that the lighting's really bad in here so I'm really sorry but um I'm sure you'll I'm sure you won't mind um but it's got full page illustrations and some of them are in color it's just amazing and again it makes me want to read this book again even though it it took me a while to read the first time around and this edition is 843 pages long <laughs> so I'm not sure whether I will read it again but this makes me want to. So that's everything my boyfriend got me he did also give me some euros because on the 29th we're going to Ireland to see uh, some of his family so Yes, I have those to spend as well, but I was very spoiled. Now on to what my parents got me, and the first thing is this sweatshirt that I'm wearing. It says Namaste in bed. <laughs> um, my mum and I saw these when we went to the Spirit of Christmas show at the beginning of November, um, but we couldn't find them again after that, um, so she must have just Googled it. And she got me one, which is perfect because I would always rather stay in bed. I didn't really ask my parents for anything uh, big this year, like normally there's something that I want, like last year I got a silhouette portrait, um, but this year I was <laughs> like such a granny, I really wanted some new welly boots because of the dogs, we go on lots of walks and my wellies had got a big split in them so I really wanted some wellies and I really wanted a slow cooker but I didn't actually ask for a slow cooker, it was just something my mum knew that I wanted, uh, but those were my two main gifts this year. So first of all we have my wellies which are from Jules. I love this box, I'm gonna keep and it. These are my little wellies, they're just little short ones and they have dogs all over them and they have a Yorkie right on the front and then they have a sausage dog on the side. So they've got both my little doggies on there and I love these, cannot wait to wear them. I think I'm gonna test them out later today because I wanna take the dogs on a walk later. It is so uncomfortable sitting here on the floor. Okay, let me swing my leg around. Ooh. Right, so my slow cooker I think is in a different bag, so I'll show you it in a minute and I'll just move on to other presents. And until I say otherwise, all of these were from my parents. So I got this lovely sausage dog scarf, which is just gorgeous and it's got a little black sausage dog on it like Winnie. I got the cutest bunny um, stuff from Accessorize. My presents always have a bunny theme in them. <laughs> so I wasn't surprised to find some sort of bunny stuff um, and these are the pyjama shorts the most adorable little bunny and then this is the top and my mum said that she bought these in the January sales last year and accessorized pyjamas they are so soft there is nothing like them they are just oh, so luxurious I've got one other pair of accessorized pyjamas and I love them also from accessorize and also in the sale last year she got me these bunny slippers, these are my favourite kind of slippers to wear. Um, I always wear slippers at home because we're still renovating so we don't have carpet or any flooring upstairs, um, like on the stairs and landing and our bedroom. So I always wear slippers and I love these, so cute. And then rounding off the bunny theme, I got these bunny socks, again from Accessorize, and I got these bunny socks from Accessorize. These are like slipper socks that you'd wear around the house because you couldn't wear them with shoes, with these little pom-poms, but so cute. I got this Hogwarts colour changing drinking glass. This is so cool. So I think it goes um, black and white when it's warm. Let me see if I can warm it up. I don't know. I think it's normally black and white and then when you put a cold drink in, um, it goes into full Hogwarts colours. But because our house is always cold, 
it's in colour at the moment. My mum bought me a personalised Emma Bridgewater small teapot. It's one of their new designs and it's supposed to be like a one cup teapot but you can definitely fit more than one cup in it. And it says Chloe's tea on there and it's in the pink hearts pattern. I love it so much. It's so cute. I'm going to put it on my dresser but this is definitely one that will get used because it's so little. Um, and I have a friend that comes around for tea quite a bit so we'll use my teapot. Here is my slow cooker, it's one of the Cookworks ones. It's a 1.5 litre liter capacity so it's supposed to be sort of like a personal one. Um, my boyfriend doesn't eat casserole or anything like that but I do, it's my favourite meal. Um, and my mum always makes casseroles in the slow cooker. Um, she always does beef but I always take the beef out because I don't really like meat. But I'll probably do mine just like potatoes and all different vegetables and everything. And I'm so excited. I think I might try and make my first one tomorrow. So I'm going to go to the supermarket and try and get some stuff to make okay. one tomorrow. So, carrying on. I've got the next lot of stuff. So, um, my mum asked me if there was any like scrapbook stuff I wanted for Christmas this year. So I gave her a list of things that I'd like from Hey Little Magpie and just told her to pick and choose things off it. But she bought everything I wanted. So I got um, the L Studio Tis The Season double sided journaling tags which I can use to document some of my Christmas photos and there are 4x6 and 3x4 cards in there. The new Crepe Paper Heart Day ephemera pack which is so pretty I can't wait to crack into this. It's uh, one of their Valentine's collections. I got these Golden Days paper clips in the shape of leaves to scrapbook some of the leafy photos I have of the dogs this past autumn. I got the Heart Day 6x12 sticker sheet which is gorgeous as usual. I got the little word stickers from the same collection. And then I got some papers which I just couldn't resist, I had to have them and one of them I asked if possible if I could get two because of, <laughs> you'll understand when you see it. So. It's from Simple Stories and the paper is called Hashtag Whatever and I'm not sure what collection it's from but it's a cut apart sheet and it's double sided and it just has everything on it that I say so I can't even, uh, nope not today, hashtag no filter, this says namaste in bed which is the same as the jumper that I'm wearing, um, to do list nothing, I can't adult today. Um, how about no, don't care, sorry not sorry, hashtag awkward, um, ha 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 no, <laughs> don't even ask, I'm sorry did I roll my eyes out loud, I, I asked for two sheets because there was no way I was going to be able to choose between the two sides so I got two sheets of that one. And from Crate Paper Heart Day I got My Love which is very pretty and it has a lot of cacti on the reverse. From the same collection I got Adore You, which is very cute. And then I got some, I got one of the papers from the Pink Fresh Oh Joy collection, which is the mistletoe one and the Merry Christmas side. Um, and I already have this one from Like Forever, but I don't mind, I use it again. My mum always gets me a Starbucks voucher for Christmas, so I have a little Starbucks voucher. I basically live in there, the hazelnut hot chocolates are my favourite, so that will be get you. Then she ordered me some stuff from Kate Spade, which was just... I was so excited when I opened the box. So first of all, I have this thermal mug, which is pink with white polka dots. Oh, and it has the gold Kate Spade at the bottom. I use these travel mugs all the time, every day, so I'm super excited to have a nice quality one, very very pretty. And also from Kate Spade I got this Take Note Large Notebook and it's got ruled, um, ruled paper, so lined paper and it says it's what's inside that counts in gold foil, so gorgeous. So this is probably going to be the next journal that I start using. I actually started a new one the day before yesterday, so this one will have to wait until that one's full, but so pretty. And then finally from Kate Spade, I got this beautiful pencil case or cosmetics case, whatever you want to use it for. They're calling it a pencil pouch, and it is obviously cream with gold dots, and inside it's black and white stripes, and it has 
some stuff inside it. So there's a little gold pencil sharpener, a rubber that says to err is human, and some pencils and a ruler. I got a couple more things for my parents. So I got this sausage dog dress up mug. So it's a mug with a black and white, uh, black and white, black and tan Daxi on it, like Winnie. And then it comes with all these little things that you can dress up <laughs> the sausage dog on the mug. On a similar vein, I got this mug, which was in an Emma Bridgewater box. And then when I opened it, it had red tissue paper, which I haven't seen before. Um, and then I took the tissue paper off and it is the miniature dachshund black and tan Daxi Emma Bridgewater mug, which you can only get now on eBay. You can't find these anywhere. And I've been looking for one for so long and my mum got one for me. And I actually cried when I opened this because I was so excited. <laughs> Last little thing from Emma Bridgewater that my mum got me is one of the hanging decorations. And it's a rose and bee teacup. So I've got a few of the mugs. I've got one or two of the jugs, but I didn't have a teacup. So now I have a teacup. And I actually got her one of those as well, but I got her the wallflower one and I had it personalised. More pottery, but this time a uh, Hogburn pottery. My mum got me this little milk jug with a black dachshund on it. I love this, it's so cute. Second to last thing, I think, from my mum, um, she got me this dachshund through the snow cushion from Next, which I love. I'm going to put it on our bed because I'll leave our Christmas bedding on for another few days so I'll pop that on our bed and then the last thing my mum got me I know the lighting is so bad in here right now I'm so sorry the last thing my mum got me um is some studio lighting from Abe Studios on eBay I think it was um it's just a big like soft box light um I haven't got it out to test it yet but once I do I'll make sure I show it to you I actually did forget something from my mum it's this little Sausage Dog Sterling Silver Necklace, which I'm going to put on as soon as I finish filming this video. So, what else? Okay, my brother and his girlfriend did get me some presents, so I'll quickly show you those. I think his girlfriend probably picked this out, but it's a set of uh, body butters from the body shop. She used to work in the body shop, so she knows all about them and she knows which ones are good. Um, but I'm super excited to try this. I left all of my body butters and my moisturizers at home when I moved house because like, because of my hobbies, because of planning and scrapbooking, I have so much stuff that um, I just couldn't bring it all over at once. And then once you've left it at home, it kind of becomes like, you just can't be bothered to get it. So all of my body butters went kind of gross. So now I have lots of new ones, which I'm very excited about. And then uh, I forgot to leave this with my other chocolates, so I'll show it to you. They did get me a big Cadbury's milk tray, which I'm so excited. And they've got new flavours as well. There's salted caramel charm, truffle heart, apple crunch. That sounds interesting. Finally, I will show you the presents from my nanny and granddad. So first of all, they got me uh, this box of Gillian chocolates, which is wrapped so pretty. And these are some of my favourite chocolates. I love the, is it Gillian or Julian or something? Uh, the shells, they're my favourite. So my nanny got me some of these. She got me a tin of salted caramel biscuits. Uh, she bought it because the tin matches our kitchen, because our kitchen is this um, sort of like soft apple green. Uh, but also I love salted caramel, so these will go in no time. Then she bought me this incredible um, Wittard's hot chocolate set. I can see in the camera that the lighting is so bad right now. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, she got me this Wittard hot chocolate set. It's called the Midnight Feast Hot Chocolate Selection and it comes with a little jar of mini marshmallows. And then the hot chocolates are Rocky Road, Mint, Salted Caramel, Luxury White Hot Chocolate and Hot Chocolate Orange. How gorgeous is that? And the reason she got that for me is because my last present from my nanny and granddad is this, which I was not expecting at all and I'm so over the moon with it. The final piece of Emma Bridgewater I have to show you. And it is a cocoa mug. And it's pink hearts and it says Chloe's Hot Choc. How lovely is that? Oh, I just love it so, I love Emma Bridgewater so much, but just look at that. So gorgeous. So you know what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be sitting down with this and this, and I'm going to be having a hot chocolate. <laughs> so there we have it. That is 
my what I got for Christmas video, the 2016 edition. Christmas is over for another year, which I'm so sad about because I love Christmas so much. I count down from the summer, so I'm a real Buddy the Elf type person. <laughs> but um, Christmas is over for another year. But I have been well and truly spoiled, and now I'm looking at all of these thinking, where am I going to put everything? But um, to any relatives who are watching this video, because I know my mum is subscribed to me and I think my brothers are as well. Thank you so much for all of my gifts. I'm so grateful. I'm so lucky and I'm so excited.